I am back at y'all with another video. Now for this one, I'm doing my top 10 favorite action movies. Now, I love uh, every one of these movies. I might do a part two to this video soon, possibly. So, yeah, let's start this top 10. Um, my number. Coming in at number 10 is War. The movie War with Jet Li and Jet Li and Jason Statham. Now, you know, I didn't include Transporter 3. Or none of the transporter movies. I might do that in my top part two of this video. Maybe I don't know, but yeah, War is a good movie. It's action packed from start to finish. I love this movie a lot. Coming number nine would be Terminator 2: Judgment Day. Now, a lot of people put this as the number one. Almost like this film is actually great, a masterpiece. It's, it's a great film. Arnold Schwarzenegger um, was great in this film. This film is just amazing. It's greatness. It's greatness. Love this film. I could talk about this film a lot, but yeah, this film was a good movie. Now, coming in at number eight would be Lone Wolf McQuaid. Like a Chuck Norris movie. Now, Lone Wolf McQuaid is so good. If you love martial arts, if you love a lot of action, if you want like a lot of action in your movies, Lone Wolf McQuaid is the movie for you. And if you love a little bit of western in your movies, Lone Wolf McQuaid is the movie for you. It has almost anything you would want. Lone Wolf McQuaid, if you're a Chuck Norris fan, this is like Chuck Norris' like best movie that he's ever done. Um, I love this film a lot. Lone Wolf McQuaid is just an amazing film. They be whooping some ass in this film. A lot of explosions happen. And then you see a lot of crazy fight scenes. It's, it's awesome. Lone Wolf McQuaid, if you haven't seen it, y'all should definitely check it out. Now, number seven is... Um, is Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok has a lot of action in it. It's fun. The comedy fits and everything. I'll enjoy this film from start to finish. Um, it's a very fun film and I just love it. I love this film. The colors. It's colorful in the movie. It's, it's so much action. It's so well done. I remember when I saw this in the theaters. I'm thinking like 2017 or 2018 when I'm, I, I think this came out like 2018 maybe, maybe 2017, I'm not sure, but yeah, I enjoy this film, um, it's a fun film, you know, Hulk was hilarious in the film, you know, of course Hulk, Hulk's in it, but yeah, also, so, Hulk was funny in this film, actually, like, if y'all seen it, y'all probably know what I'm talking about, Hulk is freaking funny in this film, and Thor, um, he's a badass in this film, so yeah. Coming in at my number six, Aquaman. Aquaman, James Wan did an amazing job um, with this film, and James Wan is just a masterpiece. He knows exactly what he's doing. James Wan is just the best director. Like he does mostly horror films, but yeah, Aquaman's a fantastic film. If you haven't seen this movie, y'all should definitely check it out. Cause James Wan is just my favorite director, without a question. My favorite director of all time is James Wan. And he's what made movies become big. Like, DC was in a tough spot right now. Like, I think their first big movie step up would probably be Wonder Woman and then also this movie. So, yeah, um, that, they did a good choice by picking James Wan to direct, it, to direct this film. Because without James Wan's help, this film probably wouldn't have been as good as it was. So, I love this movie, Aquaman. From start to finish, action-packed. The, um... The um the visual effects, everything was great. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. This film is freaking epic also. Epic from start to I love this film. I could talk about this film for hours and days at a time. Love this film. Aquaman. Love it. Now coming in at my number five would be Avengers Infinity War. Now a lot of y'all knew that was part that was coming in the um list. Um, Avengers Infinity War is just an epic movie, um, and, you know, they was leading up to this moment, they were also leading up to Avengers Endgame, which is, that's later on in the list, but Avengers Infinity War is so epic, Thanos was a great villain, I love this movie from start to finish, um, it was great, I love Avengers Infinity War from start to finish, this film is so good that, like, 
it's one of the movies you can watch over and over and over again and not get bored. It's it's just a great movie. It's 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 just amazing. I love it. Coming in number number four would be Triple Threat. Triple Threat is just an epic movie. It really is. It's it's epic. Um, this is how you make a crazy ass action film with gun shooting and then a lot of martial arts in this film. If you're a fan of Michael J. White, you will love this film a lot. If you're a fan of Tony Ja, you will love this film a lot. If you're a fan of Scott Atkins, you will love this film a lot. And trust me, it's everything a martial art fan dreamed of of these these people coming together. Trust me, it's a, it's an epic movie. I love it from start to finish. I could talk about this movie all day. Days at a time. It's just an amazing film. I enjoy Triple Threat a hell of a lot. If you haven't seen this movie, y'all should definitely check it out. Like, what are you waiting for? You know, this movie only costs twelve ninety six at Walmart. If you're a martial art fan, if you're an action movie fan, period. If you're a diehard action movie fan, check this movie out. You will not regret it. I freaking enjoy this film. Ten out of ten for me. I love this film a lot. Probably a little too much. I love this film. Triple Threat. Now coming in number three is Fast Eight. The Fate of the Furious. Now, you know, a lot of people start hating this franchise, which is, like, why would they hate this franchise? I don't know. Because this franchise is amazing to me. You know, Fast H is just an amazing film to me. Um, the racing scene from the beginning of it was epic. You know, that old beginning race scene was epic. I love that scene. One of the best scenes I've seen in any other Fast Furious movie. One of the best scenes. And then, um, you know, you got Charlie Starin, played the villain, um, played Cypher, you know, and she was a crazy villain in this film, she was heartless, and that's the villain that we need, basically, also, and Fast State was amazing, um, and I liked how different it was, too, from the other ones, you know, Dom turned his back on his family, and you try to find out why, I love this film a lot, so, yeah, I enjoyed Fast State, The Fate of the Furious, loved it, loved this film a lot, so, yeah, um, Fast State the Fate of Fears is great in the in the freaking prison scene with the Rock and Jason Statham breaking out, whooping everybody's ass. Love that scene. And I love the ending where Dom kills Cypher's boyfriend. You know, that was like a little short fight at that scene and then he killed Cypher's boyfriend. I love that scene. Um and I love, you know, freaking um I love the whole ending scene period. That was just crazy. You know, um like when The Rock took that submarine and just threw it. That, that shit was crazy and this shit exploded. I love this film. Um, and Fast Furious is like Marvel now. You know, they're doing Marvel shit. You know, they're doing spinoffs now too. They're also coming out with Fast 9 and 10. They're doing three different spinoffs. They're also coming out with Fast 9 and 10. So I can't wait for those. And if you want to count them all together, it'll be 13 Fast and Furious movies. And I know I said that way too much, but it's true. Love Fast 8. From beginning to end, loved it. Now, coming in at my number two is... Furious 7. Furious 7 is just epic. You know, um, I love that beginning scene where you, Jason Statham's kind of pissed. You know, Jason Statham played a villain in this film. Um, Jason Statham was kind of pissed because, you know, the team almost killed his brother. And you find out that story arc in this film. So, yeah, um, so, yeah, um, and you find, like, you understand his point of view. Um, and Jason Statham's kind of pissed, so you understand why he wanted to go after the team. And then plus he killed Han, and then the team's come after him now, too, while he's coming after them. So it's like both of them's having revenge type shit, and they're both getting ready to go to war. And and I like the scene where, you know, Jason Statham and The Rock fought in the office, that epic battle at that in the office. And then I also like, you know, the soundtrack in this movie, and this movie was emotional a lot of times, and... Um, I like that fight scene when Vin Diesel and Jason Statham grabbing them fucking metal shit and they start fighting each other, toe to toe fighting and shit. I love that scene. I love the old ending sequence and shit. And um, it was epic. And I also like how it showed love for Paul Walker. Um, that's another good thing about it. And Furious Seven. And I like how they split weight and stuff. And the music in this film actually fit and it was perfect, phenomenal. And there's times when you almost cry in this film. And this is probably Vin Diesel's most best acting performance. Fast Day, he was sort of good at acting too, but this is probably his best acting performance, Vin Diesel and stuff. And so yeah, now coming in at my number one, I probably guessed it, Avengers Endgame. 
Now, I'm going to wait for that to come on DVD so I can watch it again, but that movie was epic. Like, there might be a little bit for so if you haven't seen the movie, don't watch this. Stop right here, but yeah, Avengers Endgame, at least you don't care. Avengers Endgame is epic, you know, like there's one scene where towards the beginning, towards the kind of the beginning, where Thor actually chopped off Thanos' head, and I'm like, where can it go from there, right? That was freaking epic, I love that. And then, you know, they're not cool at the start of the freaking movie, of course. Because, like, why would you be cool if the shit that happened in Infinity War, how would you be cool in this film? Like, how? Like, the story was great. The best story, you know. And a lot of people might say it started off slow. Not to me. Because I like the story. And I like the characters also. And the story fit this movie perfectly. Phenomenal. Love this film. And all these films I showed y'all was 10 out of 10 movies. And this film right here is 100% out of 10. Love the Avengers Endgame. And um, I think that the final Fast and Furious movie, Fast 10, would probably be his biggest Avengers Endgame. Maybe. That might be speaking too much, but it could be. Because the final one and how they're going to end the Fast and Furious franchise, right? How are they going to end it? Is Vin Diesel going to die, right? But, yeah, Avengers Endgame is this amazing film. It's an epic conclusion of the Avengers films. And, um, yeah, it's just amazing film. Amazing film. I could talk about this film for hours and days at a time. I love this film a lot. And Avengers Endgame is just epic, epic, epic. That's all I can say. And the story is great. You know, while the action ain't even happening, the story... The story's great. I love the story. I love the characters. I love the action. But you gotta understand, the story is good. You know, and even if the action ain't even happening, you're still enjoying the story. But there is a lot of action in this film. And there's so much that goes on at the end of the film that I'm not going to spoil. But I love this film from beginning to end. Avengers Endgame is just 100% out of 10. My favorite, probably my favorite action film of all time. I've got to buy that movie when it comes on Blu-ray and DVD. I've got to buy that damn movie. So, yeah, Avengers Endgame is an amazing film. If you haven't seen it yet, y'all should definitely, definitely check it out. It's it's just phenomenal. Phenomenal movie. Avengers Endgame, I love it. So, yeah, I guess it's it for this top ten um, action movies. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe and share. And also hit the bell. So, you know when new videos upload. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm out. Peace.